social player. No, she's lippy and she knows it. And she loves it, and that's okay. But social game, no. Physical game, maybe the worst physical player to ever play the game. Strategic game, her strategic game from day one, get rid of Russell. <laughs> and you know what? It never panned out for her. So let's award her That's for her right. failures. What's happening, guys? So I want to talk about something that I can't believe I've never talked about yet. And that it's the question that Jeff asked me about the game being flawed. I said the game is flawed. And the reason that we know for a fact it's flawed is because if a girl like that, Sandra, wins this game twice, it has to be. I'll put that clip right here. I think there is a flaw in the game. A flaw in the game of Survivor? Yes. Okay. If she can win the game twice, there is a flaw in the game. What's the flaw? Oh. What, what's the flaw? So now I want to explain myself on why I said that. It does have nothing to do with hate. San when I talk about Sandra, Sandra likes to tweet. I think she blocked me by now. But they like to tweet stuff like, uh, always in your head, always, I talk about Survivor. It's what I do. This is going to go on both channels. They're not always going to go on both channels. When I get home, I'm going to stay home uh, until Survivor is over. And it's going to all be on enhanced reality. My player's performance, everything. After Survivor is over, I am flying to Vietnam and doing it all over again. So let's talk about why I think that I'm not just going to say that deliberately just to hurt her feelings. I say it because it makes sense. She gets to the end how? She gets to the end because she's not a threat. Does, does she have... Now we have... Now probes put aspects into the game. Like, what was their best strategic play? Like, there's... It's weird how he does it now, but... Uh, what about their strategic play? What about their physical play? What about their uh, social aspect? What if he would have done those questions when Sandra won the game? Let's think about that. What about her physical play? Never won a challenge in her life. What about her strategic play? Just on nothing. You guys say, as long as it's not me. What that means is, I ain't saying nothing, I'm staying quiet, and I'm not playing this game. That's what that means. And what about her social aspects? Look at the confrontation she had with Johnny Fairplay. She's sassy and she knows it. She has no qualities to win Survivor, but she has. That's because she wins because the people sitting next to her are hated. People like Russell Hands. Poverty Shallow wasn't going to win that game. She wins because people next to her are hated. She makes it to the end because she's not a threat in any way, shape, or form. She can't win challenges. Why are we going to get rid of Sandra when we need to get rid of this person? Because this person keeps winning challenges. The game is flawed in a bunch of different ways. So that's my example of it being flawed with Sandra winning the game twice. Now, Tony winning the game twice is brilliance because he has every aspect it takes to win a game. Look at the two together. You have Tony with all the great aspects. You have him. He should have his own statue, not Rob. Tony because he did everything right Sandra did everything wrong and then you Sandra fans will be like she won twice well was it because of her physical play 
Sandra is the luckiest person in the entire system of reality TV. Straight up. I met Sandra. I met her family. Amazing family. I signed autographs for her children. Or Sandra. Doesn't matter to me. I meet Sandra again. I'll sign her autographs for her. I'll do whatever. She she asked if she would call me, ask me to do an event with her, I would do it. I don't hate Sandra. I just I'm just trying to explain to you guys how the game is flawed. And that's that's that part of it. You can just sit there and get lucky and get to the end. She got lucky and she got to the end. She didn't get to the end with strategic play, did she? If she did, tell me. When she started trying to play, the third time she tried to do strategic gameplay, she goes home. When she does strategic play, she goes home and then she quits. That was quitting, by the way. Because they consider Sandra, used to consider Sandra good in challenges. I remember when Boss and Rob and Sandra was doing a challenge. Let's put them two together. They're good in challenges. That's, that's what they told me. So, why not stay? Why not stay on uh, Winners at War? It might be a challenge. Nobody, I mean, it might be a puzzle. Nobody, she'll get there last, but nobody finishes the puzzle. And she gets there, and she finishes it. But she doesn't think about none of that because she's ready to go home. She quits. I'm just saying that... That person cannot win this game anymore. People like Sandra. I am proud of Tony and him winning the game. That's very impressive. Because he did a great job. And I keep saying the next flaw is Ponderosa. They should separate them at Ponderosa. You have weak-minded people that get influenced like Jerry. If you watch Jerry's clip, she said she was going to vote for me. Until she went to Ponderosa. She said nobody played this game like Russell in the history of Survivor. Until she went to Ponderosa. You see Eric pumping his fist up. Like he's going to vote for me. Until he goes to Ponderosa. And the thing is, that's not part of the game. People say, oh, that's part of the game. Like Richard Hatch would say, that's part of the game. Ponderosa is not part of the game. Because I'm not there to defend myself. It would be part of the game if I was there to rebuttal what they're saying. But once they're Ponderosa, they do what they want. They say what they want. I'm not there to defend myself. They don't keep... They should keep them separate. In separate villas. And, you know, not talk anymore. And then let them vote. Or send them all home. That's cheaper. Send them all home and then uh, get their vote by Skype. That's what you're doing nowadays anyway. So, I don't know. Maybe that won't even work because they'll all talk to each other on the phone. I'm just saying, I wanted to talk about when I said there was a flaw in the game. I meant it a bunch of different ways. And Jeff says, that's not this game. Really, Jeff? And now it's not this game? Now what game do we have? We don't have Survivor anymore. That's for damn sure. The only way they're going to save this game is they're going to bring OGs back. And that's going to happen soon. Might not be me, but they're going to bring OGs back. If they bring Rob back, who wants to see that again? Him play his same old game. It has to, it has to be something special. It can't be Sandra and Rob. Like, it can't be the same old, same old. It's got to be something special. So, I'm going to post this on both channels. I only done this a few times. I'm going to do this now. Because I just wanted... Hopefully, you watch both channels. And you watch this twice. That would be even better. But, I'm going to do another video on Enhanced Reality, description in the bottom, right now, about something else. That's all I got for you. I don't hate Sandra. 
at all. I'm just saying she did not deserve to win the game twice, especially over one of the greatest players to ever strategically play the game, me and Poverty, when she did nothing. That's it, guys. Until next time, go watch the next video that I have going for Enhanced. Keep up alive.